Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 on how to make a cam toy out of paper materials. Now in order to make the background for your cam toy, you're going to need to print and cut the shown patterns right here. Pattern 3, which is the pattern that we're seeing right now, has to be printed and cut twice because we're going to need two of the same thing. Now do the same for pattern 4, however you only need one copy of this pattern as there are already two patterns on the same sheet. Now same as we did with the patterns on part 1 of the video, we're going to be sticking the patterns, the cut patterns, on colored cardstock. Now as you might have guessed, these are two patterns to make um, rectangular boxes. So I'm going to be making one rectangular box red and the other one dark green. Now to stick these patterns as neatly as possible to our cardstock, please only use glue stick for this process and do not PVA glue. After sticking the patterns, please make sure that you cut them again as shown here. So we have the green and red parts. And now I'm going to show you how to fold them into boxes. So let's start by folding the red box. I'm going to be folding this box by scoring all those fold lines marked on my pattern. This would make folding much more easier later on. So let's start. For this process you're going to be needing a pair of scissors and a safety ruler. Okay, let's start folding this flap over here. So rest the safety ruler behind the first line we're going to fold and scratch it with the tip of your scissors. And then fold it inwards with the color showing outwards. Do the same for the rest of the lines. Again, rest the safety ruler behind the folding line, scratch the line with the tip of your scissors, and then fold inwards. Continue as I have shown you. Alright, now that is all the sides scored and folded. Now obviously you're going to do the same for the other box, the green one in this case. So let's take out the green box and let's start scoring and folding all the sides. To save time, you could first score all of the folding lines and then fold the sides after. Alright, now here are the two boxes folded neatly. And let's move on to the next step. So these two boxes, the red and green box, are going to act as backgrounds for my cam mechanism right here. The green one will be put at the bottom and the red one will be put at the top. So it's going to look something like this. Now before I stick these two backgrounds to my cam mechanism, I'm going to first decorate them. I'm going to start decorating 
my red box first. Now, as stated on part one of the video, this is going to be a Christmas themed cam toy. So I'm going to form like a door in the center of my red box over here. I'm going to use colored paper for that. A Christmas tree again formed with a colored paper and a door cut from cardstock. I also uh, went ahead and decorated them with some white pencil and other pastels. You could use whatever you want in order to decorate your cam toy. However, I do not recommend using paint for such a project, for such a paper project, as it will start to warp. So first I placed my decorations, now I'm going to stick them. Now to stick the decorations, since these are just paper decorations, I'm going to use glue stick rather than PVA glue. I will be using glue stick one more time because PVA glue tends to make paper a little bit soggy and lumpy. So I finished the upper part of or the upper background of my cam toy. I've added a little bit more drawings to it. I added some snow with some white pastel. And later I'm going to be adding this elf over here. However, I'm going to produce a stand for him in order for him to not be part of the background. All right, now let's start decorating our bottom background now of our cam toy. So our green background is going to act like a basement for our cam toy. And so I'm going to decorate it by putting an image or a drawn image in this case of a light bulb. Again, let's stick it with glue stick one more time. All right, now in order to make these two backgrounds a bit more interesting, I'm going to be installing some LEDs. Now, uh, for the LEDs to show in these two backgrounds, I'm going to be cutting two holes, one hole on the upper background and another hole on the second background with the use of a craft knife. I'm going to cut these holes by just um, putting a cross on the cardstock. All right, now to avoid tearing the paper, let's use this pencil to form a proper hole for our two LEDs. Now, the LEDs that we're going to be using are going to be five millimeters in diameter. So make a hole smaller than that. Now, on to the next step. The next step involves us uh, assembling our two boxes. And we're going to assemble the two boxes by applying PVA glue to the shown flaps. So let's open our PVA glue. So let's apply some PVA glue to this flap over here and spread the glue with a piece of paper or with your finger. All right, now assemble the flap with the side next to it. Stick them together as shown. And then it's important to hold them together until the PVA glue grips the paper. When it dries, obviously. Now do the same with the other corners. So apply glue to the flap and then Stick it to the side next to it. All 
All right, now this is how the assembled box should look like. Now the same process was followed in order to make the green box as well. This is how the two boxes are going to look like on top of each other. Now I'm going to first start sticking the green box, the green background, behind my cam mechanism. And it should look like this. Before I assemble the two pieces together, I'm going to first make a hole for my switch. I'm going to make this hole by again using a craft knife to cut across and then use a pencil to create the circular hole. Now to assemble the green background on our cam mechanism, we are going to be applying PVA glue onto the four gussets. First apply a dollop of PVA glue on each corner and then spread it with either your finger or a piece of paper. Now turn your mechanism over and stick it onto the green background. It's important for this part to keep holding the background onto the mechanism until the glue dries and grips the paper. Now let's attach the red background on top of the green background. And let's attach this by putting a few lines of PVA glue onto the green background, on the top of the green background that is. Spread it with a piece of paper or your finger and then attach your red background. Keep holding it until the red background sticks firmly to the green background. On the next step, I'm going to be adding the final decorations of my cam toy. So I'll be adding elves and a bit more snow to the scene and some presents. I will be sticking the final decorations of my cam toy by using PVA glue. You could also use glue stick if you're more comfortable with using glue stick in order to stick your decorations onto your cam toy. Now when sticking your character onto the follower, please make sure that your follower is on the lowest part or the shortest part of your cam. Please do not stick it when it's up high like that. Always stick it when it's on the very low part or shortest part of your cam. So let's apply PVA glue to the follower and then stick our character.
Now let's add a few more characters and other uh, extras to our scenery. Then on to the next stage. In the next step, we're going to be assembling our circuit onto the back part of our cam toy. One LED is going to be placed here and another one right here. So let's start by assembling this circuit onto our cam toy. Now before assembling your circuit to your cam toy, make sure that it works properly. So let's flip our cam toy to the back. And let's see how we're going to place our circuit behind our cam toy, or rather inside our cam toy. So for my wires to fit in neatly, I'm going to be cutting a sort of slit or gap for my wires to go through them. So let's cut this part away to form the gap. And let's place our circuit inside. Now let's open these two flaps once more. Unfortunately, some glue seeped out, which ended up tearing my bit from my red background. However, don't worry if this happens as these are going to be covered up later. Now let's place the circuit. Okay, now let's start by installing our switch on the side of our cam toy. Let's remove the nut and washer. And then put it through the hole on the side of our cam toy. And then re-put the washer and nut. Please make sure that the washer, the piece of material sticking out of the washer, it will be aligned or will go through that gap or groove located on the toggle switch. So that's the washer installed. And then let's turn in the nut so our switch will stay in place. Now let's start inserting our LEDs through the created holes. Unfortunately, the other LEDs wire was too short, so I ended up in adding a wire between the resistor and the positive side or the anode of my LED. Now let's place the LED in its proper place.
and place the battery clip or PP3 connector outside this corner right here. So the battery will be easily connected to the circuit. And to keep this circuit in place, I'm going to tape the wires of the circuit onto my two backgrounds. So let's cut a piece of tape and attach it to the wires of my circuit. For extra security, to keep the LEDs in place, I'm going to apply some hot glue. Just a little bit on both sides of the LED and then let it dry. Do the same on the other LED, apply some hot glue on both sides as well. Okay, now for our final step, we're going to be covering our two boxes for the backgrounds with these two lids. Now I'm going to be attaching these two lids by using some hot glue. You could also attach these two lids by using either glue stick PVA glue, or even double-sided tape if you have. Remember that when using a hot glue gun, you have to always work quickly as the glue tends to dry up very fast. All right, now let's attach the red lid onto our upper background. Again, let's apply the hot glue as quickly as possible and then attach our lid. And this is the finished cam toy. So let's test out the mechanism of the cam toy and then the electronic part. So here is a 9 volt battery attached to my battery clip as a power source. Now let's switch it on. Okay, and here it is. A complete functioning mechanical yet electronic cam toy.